Andrew McCart, IFL TV, Eddie Hearn. There was no luck of the Irish back in me, but I tell you what, they made up for it tonight. Unbelievable. What a night. I mean, probably the greatest atmosphere I've ever witnessed. Um, you know, it's difficult, obviously, represent both fighters, but you know how I feel about Katie Taylor, and to see her produce that when people had doubted her in the past, you know, I think, uh, you know, it's a situation where I'm so proud of her. You know, I'm proud of Chantel for everything that they've delivered, the pair of them, and um, what a night. What a night. What an atmosphere. Incredible. Eddie, we don't see much of emotion from Katie Taylor, but when that that decision got read out, she was all over that ring screaming. There was emotion in her eyes. That was the most I've ever seen her, man. That meant a lot to her. That meant more oh, than anything to her. Her career was on the line. You know, everyone had written her off. She's too old. You know, she can't win. You know, even the boxing community and fraternity said, I can't see a way that she beat Chantel Cameron. We talked so many times earlier this week about the start of the fight and how difficult it was last time. And after four or five rounds last time, she was well behind and tonight she was well up after the, the, at the halfway stage and that was the difference of the fight. She held on towards the end but she still won rounds towards the end even when she was holding on. She was smart in the exchanges, she was smart in the flurries and obviously the flurries when they come they get a massive eruption here in noise but they were flurries that were landing. Mm -hmm. And I think if Chantel Cameron's team were honest I'm sure they'll complain about the holding, we'll have to see the, the knockdown back mm -hmm. but I think they know deep down that Katie Taylor won that fight. The rematch, Croke Park. You talk about the atmosphere in here, Eddie. Can you imagine it? I know the outdoor stadium, you don't try and get that cauldron no, of noise, you know, but the, can you imagine yeah, that? The thing is, you know, to deliver here the numbers that's needed to make sure these fighters get what they deserve, the ticket prices are very expensive in here. Mm. And by doing that, you isolate and, and sort of rule out the opportunity for every kind of person, kids, you know, grandparents to come to this event. When you go to Croke Park and you can have tickets for... I have to give you a number. Just give me a number. 30 euros, so just in case we go cheaper. It, it allows so many more people and the reach to be so much wider to come out for an event. And you know that we can fill 60, 70, 80,000, no problem, at the right prices. And like I said, you know, everyone knows, you heard it in here tonight, it has to happen. You know, and we have to make sure that it's effective for, for the government and the tourism to make sure that it's actually a, a, a real proposal that where they've invested in rugby or I don't know yachting or whatever these governments invest in to bring tourism to the country you talk about tourism to the country how about a big fight at Croke Park I mean if that don't bring tourism to the country fill hotels and restaurants I don't know what will so but more importantly give it to one of your own and I'm, we're not saying give it we're just saying just make it comparable with every other major stadium in the world that we go to that's all we're asking and hopefully we can make that happen Eddie, I remember Carl Froch, Booty, how excited you won, how much that meant to you. Maybe Tony Bell, you when he won his world title as well. Where does that rank? It ranks right up there, but it's difficult when you work with both fighters. Mm. Like I can't um, hide my emotion for Katie Taylor. Like she's changed, you know, in many ways, some of my life, you know, and, and our company, and, and certainly the enjoyment that I've had over the last near near decade in, in everything that she's delivered. And you know, like Brian Peters said to me tonight, I can't believe people wrote her off, and he's absolutely right. Because how many times has she been written off, you know, and she just comes back and she's just got the will to win. And, and the, you know, coming here at home made a massive difference. The noise, every time it got hard in there, you know, you'd hear Katie, Katie, or Alea, Alea, Alea. And it, it, when you've got nothing less left in the tank, that's the kind of moments that can get you through. So just an incredible person, an incredible athlete, and, uh, you know, just delighted for her. Two, two division undisputed champion amazing unbelievable lady like you said no, there's not a bad word said about that no. lady from anyone in the, in the boxing community even in the world in, entirely but quick word on Gary Cully Paddy, Paddy Donovan and Carty and all the rest of the boys yeah, on the I mean, card. going through the card I thought um, Gary Cully was a very close fight I mean it depends what you like you know he, he controlled the fight at distance Reese Mould was probably more aggressive I think it was a 96-94 kind of thing um, but who can you know deny Gary Cully the victory after what he went through in that, that night in May and you know it's 4-0 for the, the Irish against the English in those matchups, and Paddy Donovan I thought was exceptional, exceptional standout performance. First big step up, look, looked a million dollars, you know. And, and Andy Lee's been telling me about him for a long time. Mm. Thomas Carty was poor, let's be honest, but difficult against someone that wasn't really coming to fight. Two southpaws, and Thomas is just learning, you know. And it's difficult to walk out with that kind of atmosphere, mm. you know. Good stoppage for Sky Nicholson, yeah, you know, did what Michaela Meyer couldn't, 
did what um, uh, Mosley couldn't against Wild Heart, and now she should be mandatory for the world title. A good win for Zelfa Barrett as well. I thought Emmett Brennan fight was fantastic. You know, it was a real tear up. You caught yeah. called Joe. I was obliged to get my fight in New York yeah, or something. Why like that? not? I mean, he sold a huge amount of tickets tonight. John Cooney, fantastic as well. Um, Giorgio and Giorgio Fizioli, what a knockout. I mean, um, what an unbelievable night of boxing. Unbelievable. To be, to be honest, Eddie, to be fair to you, you did call it. You said this was going to be I an did. unbelievable night. It felt like we'd have a night of drama tonight. You know, last time we were here, I mean, it was a night of drama as well. Curry, Cully got knocked out. Katie Taylor lost. And tonight, it's a clean sweep for the Irish. Eddie, go and enjoy the rest of the night. I'll speak to you soon. Thanks, Eddie. Eddie. Just a word for Forbes magazine.